A little while back, I did a review of the Tessman TM500 multimeter, and I really thought this would be a great multimeter for homeowners as it takes some of the guesswork out of your measurements. On typical multimeters, you have to sit there and move the dial back and forth for different ranges and things like that, and this multimeter kind of bypasses all that. And recently, I've gotten some comments that this multimeter doesn't seem to be able to measure resistance, and I think I kind of have it figured out of why that's maybe going on and that's what this video is about. So when I turn the multimeter on, it starts oscillating back and forth, wondering, okay, what are you gonna measure? The trick to using this multimeter for resistance is making sure that you have at least 50 ohms of resistance. In case you're trying to use this multimeter for resistance, measuring resistance for something around the house, I don't know why you do that, but let's just say that you are. Copper wire is a very good conductor, and here I have a piece of 12 gauge wire. It's probably two and a half feet long. Keep in mind that 12 gauge wire has a resistance of about 1.6 ohms for every thousand feet. And so using this multimeter, there's a good chance that you're not gonna be able to measure the resistance of this wire because there's just not enough resistance. But what you can do is at least measure the continuity. So if you do buy this for the home, you're probably gonna be using this more for continuity and not for resistance. So you're working on your car and there's some sort of like small circuit or something like that or you're trying to test the fuse even though that it's clear, but let's just say that it's not. Let's say that there's something you're trying to test. It's gonna have less than 50 ohms and so at best what you can do is use the probes and it'll show that there's a complete circuit. So just for the sake of argument and because I'm kind of a nerd, I actually have some resistors. This one here is a 68 ohm resistor. So let me use my alligator clips. And we'll see if we get 68 ohms approximately. So right now, I don't know if you can see that. Right now we're getting about yeah, right there, 68 ohms. And so this is measuring 1,000 ohms, and so you gotta move the decimal place three places. Let me try a different one. Here's a 100,000 ohm resistor. So right there, we're at 97.8. And of course these resistors have a little bit of a tolerance in them as well. So I hope this video helps. I don't have any stock in Testman or anything like that. I just kind of wanted to help some of the people that had questions about the resistance. Know that this will test resistance, but probably you don't have over the 50 ohms to actually test resistance. The most you're gonna do is test conductivity or continuity less than 50 ohms. So I hope this video helped. Consider subscribing and liking these videos and sharing them with other people if you think there's somebody that could benefit from these videos. Thank you so much for watching.